I think law and ethics is a really important part of uh, what we do as paediatricians nowadays. Uh, we're often dealing with children um, at the age of viability, whether it's in the neonatal intensive care unit or in the paediatric intensive care unit. Uh, and of course, beyond uh, those kind of questions about end of life and what's the right thing to do in a very difficult situation, we also have to deal with children in all kinds of uh, you know, uh, situations ranging from birth to 16 years of age. So, of course, consent is important, understanding capacity is important, understanding what children can decide for themselves as they grow up is important. And these are all really uh, key parts of uh, the module that we're going to be delivering. I think the multidisciplinary approach is an interesting question because uh, not only are we very happy to have people from all backgrounds attending uh, the module, uh, whether they're uh, medical, uh, legal, uh, paramedical or nursing, uh, we also have a range of people delivering the course. So uh, we have um, uh, uh, ethicists, we have doctors with an interest in ethics, we have um, lawyers, we've got a very uh, significant component of the course that's actually delivered by lawyers, particularly the elements around consent and capacity, because it's so important to understand what the legal requirements of us as doctors and uh, health professionals are in relation to those issues. Um, in addition to that, we also have uh, passed the course uh, at the, the Westminster Coroner's Court, um, and there will be a talk from the Westminster Coroner before that. So, of course, that's going to be really important for people to understand what happens in the coroner's court, how to comport themselves, what the coroner expects, what the coronial process is. Um, and I think uh, this uh, multidisciplinary faculty, along with the multidisciplinary nature of the students, means that we have a really unique opportunity to learn from each other as well as learning from the faculty. Well, I'd like to uh, pick out two components, if that's okay. One is the uh, focus on law rather than ethics, and I think this is a, something that's really important. I think a lot of uh, medical ethics courses, a lot of medical ethics uh, lectures tend to focus on the philosophical aspects of uh, what we're doing, whether it's uh, utilitarian, uh, deontological, or whatever the approach happens to be. Now, I know, and I'm sure most people watching this video will know, as practicing uh, uh, clinicians at the bedside or uh, members of the multidisciplinary team or even lawyers, that what actually matters when you're dealing with a patient is an understanding of what the legal requirements are uh, and what the expectations are according to the law. So the focus of this course is very much practical and on the law, which I think is really important because it helps us in our day-to-day -day work. The other thing that's really unique about this is the, is the involvement with the Westminster Coroner, who has been fantastically supportive in helping with the course. Um, uh, we ran the course as a short course last year, uh, and the element that ran at the Coroner's Court was rated extremely highly. Uh, we had a mock uh, inquest. Um, we had people uh, giving uh, evidence. We had the coroner examining them. Uh, and that was a fantastically educational process for all those concerned, not just those on the stand, but those watching as well, to understand what the expectations are and what the process is. The faculty is, uh, consists of uh, paediatricians with an interest in law and ethics. Um, it consists of uh, uh, lawyers. It consists of ethicists. Uh, and we also have uh, involvement from nursing colleagues, particularly around uh, understanding how we should be managing conflict situations and trying to resolve them, which I think is really important because we don't want all of our difficult cases to end up in the courts. We'd like to try and resolve them uh, with the parents or with the child at the bedside if possible. So that understanding of conflict resolution I think is really important and our, our family liaison nursing team here at St Mary's have got a fantastic track record in doing that so they would also be involved.